The work that we're about to embark on today is to make a David Hockney image. This is the combination of a number of different images into one type of mosaic. There's no right or wrong rules for this, except to say that you need lots of images so that you could play around and create something that is unique and personal to you. Let's get started. All right, so we're heading out here to take the shots, and the first thing we have to decide is what we're going to shoot on the left to what we're going to shoot onto the right. So the first thing you'll see is I do a pano image, and this gives me a reference image that I will use in Photopea so that I know kind of where to place everything. So once that's done, I then have to decide on the format of my, my pictures. Am I going to shoot portrait? Am I going to shoot just normal uh, photos? Or how is my format going to look? So I chose square. And it's important that you get up close to all of the elements in your work so that you could decide how it's going to be laid out. So you can see I'm taking a close-up picture of the fence, different pieces of it. As we go down, same thing. So I've got about three photos of that, the fence boards, everything. And now you're seeing over the next 30 seconds here that I take 362 total images. And in those 362 total images, it covers all the photos that I need for my David Hockney image. So once I have these shot, I'm then going to bring them into Photopea and edit them in. Now that we have all of our images in our file space, we have to decide on the size of the canvas we're going to work with and getting our reference image in. And then from there, bringing in subsections of the shots that we've done so that we could build our image carefully and slowly. So the first thing we go file new and we're going to decide I'm going to use the YouTube cover and click create. And you'll see from here, we're going to go file, open and place. Now I do have a file set up that has all of my images and you can see that I have 363 images. So this is a big, big job. The first one is actually a panorama of the work I'm going to do. So this will give me a general idea of how I want my David Hockney image to look. So I'm going to lock this. First, I'm going to right click and say rasterize. And I'm also going to reduce the opacity. And I'm going to lock it. So that image will not move. Now what I'm going to do is go file, open in place, and I'm going to grab the next 20 images. Actually, I'm going to go up to 20. And the reason I'm going to grab these images here, so I grab the first one. I'll just show you again. And then I go down in the image number 20, hold the shift key and go click, and then click open. Now it's opening and placing. So it's going to put all of those images in the same spot. You can see they actually take up quite a bit of the canvas. So I need them to be much, much smaller. So I'll wait till they come in and I'm going to work in sections. So we're bringing in 19 images. We went from image 20 all the way back to image number two. So that's 19 images right there. You got to include image number two. And I'm going to hold the shift key and select the images to the bottom. And I'm going to put them in a folder. And this folder will be called left fence because that's what these images are. I need to make sure, I'll click the first image, hold the shift key again, select the last one, right click and say rasterize. Now all of the images are selected and what we're now going to do is go edit, transform, scale. Grab the top and drag this down and we're gonna bring this all over here and we're actually scaling all of the images that we have selected. I'll hold the shift key to make sure that they scale correctly. And I think that's going to be a pretty good size, maybe just a little bit smaller. And now we click the check mark. What's really important here, I'll just click off of an image, is if we watch over here and we have auto select on and I have my move tool, we can click an image and just move it. Click an image and just move it. So I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in. Command plus sign, and I can use the space bar, click and drag over. And I'm going to start to lay the images out, Command minus, 
where I think they should all go. So this one will be back here. Let me just do this again. I'm going to click the top image, hold the shift key, select the bottom image, and I'm going to move them all down to the bottom. Now I'm going to just start moving these images, kind of position them where I think they should go. And you can see, even with these images, I'm not too concerned that they don't perfectly line up. So here's an image that I'm going to move to the top. There, now it stays on top. I think that looks better with that on top. Bring that right there. Hmm. Do I need all of these? I'm not sure that I need all of these images. But let's find out. I like this one. So again, this one I think I need to move to the top. So they're going to come in in an order that after I shot them, I shot them all and let me hold the shift key and, oh, that's just to rotate. There we go. Holding the shift key, constraining the proportions. As soon as you select it, you should be able to adjust its size. So I'm holding the shift key when the transform is on. There we go. That looks nice. Click the checkbox, select this one. Yeah, I think that one has to come to the top. Hold the shift key, resize it. And you're gonna do this for all of the images that you work on. Yeah, I don't think I need this image, so I'm gonna delete that one. That one's gone. This one, let me move this one to the top, get a better sense of what we've got. Shift key, go to the bottom here. Let's rotate this image just a little bit. Kind of like that. That image, don't need it, so I'll delete that one. How about this image? Uh, I could delete that one too. This image. Let's delete it. This image, let's delete it. I think we could delete that one. We could delete this one. Yeah, I don't think I need these ones. I thought I would, but I don't. All right, delete. So I could turn off this layer right here and I can see, command zero, kind of what I've built in that bottom corner. And we're gonna take it the next step by bringing in the next group of images. So I'm gonna turn on our reference image in the back. And here's my left fence. I'm gonna make sure that that group is selected because it's at the very top of my stack. Go back to File, Open and Place. The last image we brought in was image 20. So I'll go to image 21 to about image 60, I think. And I will continue the same process that I continued before. Bring them in, make a file, position, delete some images, and then move on to the next folder. All right, now that all the images are in, the top one is selected, so I'm going to hold the Shift key, select the bottom one, right click, and say Rasterize. Now they're still all selected, so I'm going to click and put the put them all into a folder, and I'm going to call this Left Trees. Open that back up, select the top image, hold the Shift key, select the bottom image, Edit, Transform, Scale. Grab the top, and the first time you do this, the reason that it doesn't, the proportions don't get all weird, oh, they do actually, Hold the shift key and they will stay proportioned properly. And if you look at the top of the screen, I think we go to 13% is around the right number. They're all still selected, so I'm going to click and drag them all. I'll put them at the top this time. Now that they're up there, I'm going to click the check mark. And now I'm going to arrange them.
All right, so I think we have the trees all laid out. And that looks pretty cool. We'll move on to the next part, which will be the sandbox and the other trees right in there. So we could turn our reference image off and on again, just to double check. That's looking good. You'll notice that I moved the left trees below the left fence. And that worked out a little bit better. Now, we select the left fence again and go File, Open in Place. So we're going to grab images from 74 all the way to about 144. Hold the Shift key, select, and click Open. Now that all the images are brought in, let's make sure the top one is selected. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the new images, select them. Let's put them in a folder, and we're going to call this Sandbox. We'll do what we did last time, select the top image in that folder, hold the Shift key, select the bottom image, right click, and say Rasterize. Now they're still all selected, so we'll go up to Edit, Transform, Scale. Grab the top corner. As you're dragging down, hold the Shift key. And you'll see this one's going a little bit slower because we've got a lot of images selected. And we're going to go down to about 13% again. This keeps everything pretty consistent. Now before we turn off that selection, I'm going to move this up to the right this time. Now that it's up on the right, I'm going to click the checkbox. Click off. Make sure that we're not selecting more than one image here. Make sure your move tool is selected. Auto select is on. And we're going to start moving these images into position. So we're getting close to the right-hand side of the image, left to center. So we're going to make sure that Sandbox is selected, the Sandbox folder, because that's the one that is on the far right-hand side of our image that we've completed. And now we're going to go File, Open, and Place. So we're going to bring in more images. So the images that we're going to bring in now are going to be about from 175 to 242. Click Open. So same process as before. So now we've got these images selected. So I'll hold the Shift key, select the last image so that all of them are selected. Right click on one of them, rasterize. They're still all selected. So I'll click on the folder icon and I will name this Right Trees. And now I will go Edit, Transform, Scale. Grab the top corner, drag down, hold the Shift key, and we're going to go to about 13%. So I'm looking at the top of my screen, and I'm looking at the percentage up there. There we go. Oh, a little too big, so I'll just make that a little. There we go. I'm going to move these up to the middle. Actually, maybe I'll move them over to the left-hand side because if they're here, I might end up filling some of that space. So I'll bring them up here, right here, to the middle. Hit the checkbox. Open this up, and now let's start moving them into position. So I'm just going to close the folder here and turn off my reference file, that last one right there. And that's kind of where we're at. That's looking pretty good. So I do have a bunch of images here that I would like to get rid of. And you can see like this one here, delete. Whole bunch up here. So if I just click and drag across, delete. So those ones are gone. Now let me close the folder, turn off the reference image, command minus so we can see this as a whole. That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I am seeing a couple things here. So if I, even with this closed, if I click and drag across, oh, Control Z, I don't want to grab. Uh, 
There, let's just see if we can move oh, control Z. Hold the shift key, click a few more here. Move this up. All right, that looks good, checkbox. This image here, I need to move that to the top. There we go, let's zoom in, Command plus. Hold the space bar, drag across. Drag that down just a little bit. Select this image, same thing, we'll just drag this. Want that to match up nicely. And zero. I think that looks really good. So with all of that work, make sure that you're saving your work. So I go save as PSD and you'll see at the bottom, I've got new project, new project uh, one, two, and three. I've saved this a number of times so that if something goes wrong while I'm working, I'm not going to lose my work. So there it is. There's my final image. I realize I can't get everything in here that I want. So I'm going to be happy with what I've got. Uh, Shift Option Command E and I'm going to merge everything up to the top, which means I can hold the shift key, I can get rid, oh, I got all these locks, I can't return the locks off, and I'm going to delete all the layers. So I've got this one layer. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I've got that layer selected. I can resize this as a whole, move it to the middle. That looks good, and click the checkbox. And now, I could do an adjustment layer over top of this, so I could do a curves adjustment layer where I can make it a little bit more contrasty. I like that. There we go. We can see some midtones a little bit better. Let's do one more thing here where we can do, oh, we'll go with vibrance. And let's bring that vibrance level up. Saturation up just a little bit. I think that looks really good. Shift, Option, Command, E, merge everything up again. I'm actually going to get rid of those two things, those three things. And now with this layer, I'm almost done. If we take this layer right here and we duplicate it, and on here we go up to Filter, Other, High Pass, we can actually, and keep that kind of low, like for me with this one, I would say about 1.7 is pretty good. And then change the blend mode to hard light. And what you'll see, and we'll zoom in on this, a little bit sharper with that high pass adjustment layer. Command zero. We'll do one more save as PSD. And now we will go file, export as a JPEG and it is the JPEG image that I want. The original size will be fine, and click Save. With that, I believe you are done your assignment.